I'm gonna show you guys something. The bed of the truck does get removed, not fully, but just enough to allow the installers to get back into the necessary areas. So that's probably gonna happen first in this vlog. It is probably the most challenging of the disassembly process. It does require multiple hands, so it's gonna take basically the entire shop crew to do what we're about to do. Welcome back to the vlog, guys. Bam! What up? <laughs> what up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog. I'm not gonna smack the truck because someone's gonna comment on it. Today, we got the Ford Raptor in. First step of wrapping any vehicle is getting it cleaned up and disassembled. That's where my man here, Anthony's gonna come in, do the damn thing. You said step one, but you gave him two steps already. Step one of any wrap project is gonna be making sure that the vehicle is clean and prepped. Um, all of the debris, everything, all the waxes are removed from the paint. You wanna make sure that the paint is as clean as possible because your vinyl adhesive needs to be able to bond to it. We're gonna clean this thing, we're gonna take it apart. What is the hardest part about a Ford Raptor? Tell me, Anthony, because you've done a ton of them. Um, the hardest part, I mean, the hardest part for us as a group is, you know, the bed. Next day, I'm wearing different clothes. I actually, you know, wear different clothes every day. <laughs> Just want to throw that out there. Just want to let you guys know I shower. I actually do shower. My hair is fresh. All right, let's go. <laughs> the grill and all that stuff up front is done. Now we're gonna be moving on to the bed of the truck. And uh, like we said before, we're gonna be pulling back the bed a little bit. We're not taking it off completely. We're just gonna pull it back subtly so that the guys can actually wrap all the way back in here. As you can see, my hand goes way deep in there, and you can actually see all the silver that's, you know, back there. So like I said, pull back the bed. And that's the only way you can go on, sorry. What do you need? You gonna bring it back when you're done? I always bring it back. I don't what know, do dude. Need? Sometimes I'll be looking for it and like. I literally put it where you can see it. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, whatever you, you say, man. All right, Last time I seen it over there for like four days straight. Oh, yeah, no sure. one ever brought it back. It's probably because you were using it. You why would, use I, why would I use it, bring it over there, and not bring it back? Because you're Anthony. What I'm holding right here is a tailgate trim. And one thing you should definitely know is that you should not try to take this off by yourself. Or actually, you shouldn't even take it off in general. Somehow, I actually did it by really finessing it. And it took me about 45 minutes to do this without breaking any of the clips. Not one clip is broken. Yeah, not one clip is broken. And you know, when it's on the car, all these clips are holding it in place. And so you barely have enough wiggle room to get in there. So, you know, what I'm trying to say is you don't want to try to take this off because you can risk damaging it really bad. And it's actually a very uh, <clears throat> expensive piece. Right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna shut the camera off until David starts wrapping. We also do have this Lexus in right here. It is going a gray to another gray. Uh, we decided not to film this. We mainly just putting content on Instagram and TikTok for it. But Adrian is over here working on it. No one talked crap on you last video, so I think they like you. Oh, cool. cool. Yeah, yeah, I think I think you're accepted. That's nice. Um, I'm glad I'm accepted. You know, I've come a long way. Um, what do you think, Anthony? How am I doing? I mean, it's all right. uh, I mean, I might see you next week. I might not. You know, see where. Damn. Hey, whether or not I got paid. Bed removal, let's get into that. You're gonna be getting your truck wrapped. It may be something that you wanna discuss. Let's get back, let's look at the bed. I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so you got this gray truck here. You wanna wrap it in a whatever color we're doing in this, I think we're doing satin black. Yes. Maybe we're doing satin black on this truck. You come over here, it's pretty tight to get your squeegee and to wrap perfectly into this area. A lot of shops, what they'll do is they'll make a relief cut here and they just won't worry about the gray that's showing there. Can be done that way, it's not the right way. It's not the way that we do it. We're gonna go that extra mile, we're gonna unbolt the bed, we're gonna drop the bed back, 
to have maximum coverage all the way through. We're not gonna allow that, I don't know what you would call it. I, I think it's a hack job, I wouldn't do it. So anytime we've wrapped trucks, we've always done it this way. And like I said, it does add a lot to the labor. So also does increase your price when you're getting your truck wrapped at premium. But there's a reason why we call it premium because you're getting the premium service. Um, bed removal, let's go. We're gonna get back behind here and cover up all the gray. All right guys, I told you we weren't gonna drop the bed all the way off, we just moved it back. So I wanna show you where it's sitting right now. Uh, what we did is we moved it about back about eight inches. So now you get your hand back there, which is gonna allow us to get all of this covered all the way into here. We're gonna have full access to it. Also gonna be able to get right back over here. So it's fully covered. You will see this with a lot of shops when they're wrapping trucks is they just avoid that area. And it's almost accepted with a lot of shops. They're just saying, okay, this is the way it is. You can't remove the bed. That's not the case. It can be done. It just takes extra work, takes extra time. If you see here, we're putting wood blocks down right on the frame. All we did, this right here was right here. We moved it back about eight inches. So this is now sitting on the frame of the truck. We're gonna put wood blocks for stability. But with that 30 minutes of a little bit of brain power, a little bit of manpower, we're gonna get so much better of a finish. Dave's gonna be able to kill it back there. All right, new day guys, uh, welcome back. We're working on the Ford Raptor today. We're doing the wrap. And um, I'm starting off with the fender, just because it can be a little tricky in here. And I'll show you guys how I got, um, or how I'm going to do it. But first, let me tell you guys what we did yesterday. So, we finished up wrapping the, the this part right here. I guess you could kind of say it's a quarter panel, not really. But um, the reason why I did this first is because we have the bed kind of pushed back. And um, the faster we can get this done here, the faster we can put this back on so we can move the car. Next thing I'm gonna do is the fender and I'll show you guys what I'm doing. So I did a small inlay in here on the top area. You'll never see that inlay. And um, the reason why I did that is because I don't wanna do everything all one piece. If I do everything all one piece, things can fail really easily. So I would much rather be safer and do an inlay up here, cut the top right here, and all of this should fold in and we should just post heat this area and it should be okay. All right, so yeah, I didn't, I wasn't here yesterday. I was actually over at MP Performance, I believe that's the name, and they were working on R33. So they got to do that. They're super slammed, so sorry for not filming that, but he explained as much as possible. And yeah, I just want to apologize for not catching those clips, but the R33 motor is being worked on. So I'm pretty sure you guys will be excited for that. Damn son. What's up, dog? You say what's up to the vlog. What up, vlog? You guys want to know something? We're wrapping a Raptor. And if you've been asking for updates on that van, that van, literally, it's the best thing ever. I haven't really done anything to it because I'm always driving it. I drive that thing more than I drive any other car, right? Yeah, I would yeah you always see me driving that thing. Now we're doing the window tint on the van because, uh, ooh, ooh. you know, I got horsepower in my blood. I don't know why I said that, I was stupid. I don't know what to say to the vlog anymore because it's fucking, you guys have been killing it. I watched you guys 100% murder the GTR vlog. Thank you, man. That's some, you guys. some kind words. Thanks, um, dude. That'll motivate me for like a solid hour. I need, I'm gonna need you to come back, you know. Just, yeah? Keep hopping me up. All right, tips and tricks. Don't let Daniel touch your crap. Let Daniel touch when, your rap. When Daniel do you it again. I'm you have to say, when Daniel touch your rap, you're going to have to go back. Oh! <laughs>
Right. Go like this for the rest of your life. Top, you don't want to talk? Yeah, yeah. go talk. <laughs> oh shit, like this is weird. I'd rather have you holding the camera. You were the meal of the camera in yeah. the talk? Yeah. Okay. Where I feed the but we laid this bedside already and I screwed up you know we're not perfect here we always you know we make little mistakes here and there but uh pretty much what happened was I went to do a relief cut here that way I could swing this material this way and he messed up but I cut it too far so it was really short right here and I tried to stretch it over but it just wasn't safe because once you start to stretch from just one small area things always tend to peel back so it's not a good idea to do that so I said you know what let's redo it let's do it again and um, another thing that I noticed too when I laid it is that in this area right here can you get that all right in this area right here um, with Avery it's really thin material so when you drag it when you drag it across a hard body line these Ooh, adhesive hard body, baby hard body I love hard, hard body. bodies hard body <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get this so you guys can see. So the back of the adhesive, or back of the vinyl, it has adhesive. So when you try to drag it on a hard body line, sometimes these, these adhesive separate and it creates little small dots. I know what it's called, it's called blue lines. Adhesive dots. Blue lines are different. <laughs> but anyways, what happened, <laughs> what happened was that when we, when we went to go stretch this, we dragged it across here too much, creating those adhesive dots. So what I'm gonna do next, this time is I'll just lay some tack reducer right here on this whole area and then we can go ahead and stretch it evenly and not worry so much about it getting a piece of dots. So Blue wish us luck on the, this next lay. Blue ha! Block the bitch. Oh my! Oh. <laughs> you wanna play, homie? You wanna play? Look at the baby! <laughs> We're not doing this. <laughs> All right, just to recap, guys, we finished up the flares, the bedside, the quarter panels, and it is what time is it, Anthony? It's time to go home. It's eight oh two. It's eight oh two. I'm tired. And just like that, make sure to go ahead and subscribe, like our videos, and drop drop a comment down below. Don't forget about our every hundred thousand subscribers. We give away a free car wrap, so go ahead and make sure to. Subscribe anywhere in the world. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye.